Hi guys, welcome to another market news and updates. As we can see, market has been pretty sideways and we had a very good weekend as well. So we us jump in karte and see one of the updates for us today. Let's aim into them directly. Apecoin is down a bit. Apex had a very nice upside, went all the way from $83 to $91. And probably this was the best upside we saw in a coin lately other than Luna. Then if we get into Luna as well, we can see Luna went from $9 to $96. But in one hour time frames, Toda sideways on Laga has been just consolidating in the zones of $94 again. So it's came down from $95 to $94. And even in Rune, we have seen a similar situation. Their Rune is in a short pullback, especially in day and also in one hour time frames. So if we look at it 8.99 to 8.86. And even in day time frame, from all the way up from 9.29 to 8.30. Overall, all the coins have been pretty sideways, not much action going. What we're really lacking today is volume. Let's get into our chart and see what was our weekly closing because it's very important for us to always keep learning. Learning is the most important tool in these markets. So if you look at it, it was a clear bullish engulfing candle. So what a bullish engulfing candle looks like exactly like this. And even if we try to compare, looks very, very similar. After we had two hammers in a row we had a massive bullish engulfing candle which was a very very good sign so let's get technicals we take them what it exactly means criteria body we says white but we can make it green green real body wraps around preceding red real body market in downtrend implication market is bottoming out so we have been pretty sideways we haven't had much action we've been just trading in this for one two three four five six about for six weeks now and now we're beginning to see some kind of pump or upside should come from this candle but since we started today we are seeing some pullbacks obviously market candle has to have some sort of pullback before we have any kind of an upside so that was a very very important sign for us today as well now we jump into news which is going to be very very critical this week is going to be european union to move russia's oil embargo with biden set to join talks so biden is going to be heading to poland on 25th march which is going to be friday friday is always our options expiry and now we're also going to be having biden fight on friday so we got to be very very careful very cautious about all this happening in the markets because obviously we know this war has affected us massively. If we look into what's the talks leading now into so Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov says conference call. Kremlin no agreements reached yet in Ukraine negotiations. Kremlin progress in Ukraine talks less than we would like. US embargo on Russian oil would hit everyone. So we have even seen start some kind of pump coming into oil prices as well in quick upsides. The most important thing I was looking at today because we're so close to now April is this chart, which is Bitcoin's monthly return percentage. Beautifully, whatever happened in January in major years, we saw that we had red here, a few reds here, we had a red here, we had a few greens here, we had a green in February as well. Now we look into March, we have a lot of red, and now we are seeing a similar pattern, especially from 2015, where we had 4.38%. Now we're up just about 4.45%, so looks pretty good as well. April, May, June, July looks very, very green. So are we going to carry on forwarding this pattern or not? We have to watch out for that pattern very closely this week. So now if we jump into gate.io, we have MetaWare starting just in 23 hours. So we have to ape into this coin. We know this coin is going to be something amazing. And above all that, we also have Manchester City fan token coming, which is going to be in 23 hours. If you are part of the startup, this is your chance to get in because startup for MetaWare has also started and for Manchester City fan token. So if you want to get into Manchester City fan token and if you're a Manchester City's fan, you must get into this. Obviously, this is going to help you support your club better and give you more opportunities to get closer to your club as well. So if you look into newly listed, we've seen a lot of coins pumping this week. We even saw upsides coming in value of about 1200%. So without any waste, if you do want to join Gate.io, get Man City fan token and MetaWare, click in the link below in the description. Join Gate.io, you're going to earn some airdrops and free rewards as well if you use my referral link or my referral code. So get into that. What are you waiting for? So now let's jump quickly into our charts and see what are the charts offering us today. Today is a very, very important day. Like we always say, week starts today. So today is always a very, very important day. If you look at the stocks, stocks are pretty much pumping. Totals are also looking very, very good. Overall market is looking very good, but there's a high chance we can have some kind of pullback as well because we had a very good upside last week. Even if you look into DXY on the weekly time frame, still consolidating after a bearish engulfing candle. We expect it to come down, but being pretty sideways, ideally we want this to come down ASAP because that's what's going to bring massive upside in Bitcoin's chart. If we get into USDT's dominance, we can clearly see dominance has broken its trend. 
is coming down slowly slowly but we have seen that that it went down retested and came back up we want it to just dump hard because that is going to be a very very important sign for us because then the money will come into bitcoin right now if we look at to bitcoin's dominance we can clearly see it's dumping pretty much not much action going on bitcoin dominance chart for a while we've been seeing ethereum has started pumping because that's all in the news for e2.0 we also made a very very good cup and handle now we are breaking out from that cup and handle we can only confirm that when we reach the heights of 19.30 percent for now we just have to be cautious i've also added avax dominance today back in the top because avax has been performing so well it needs that kind of support from us now and then if we look into each chart and figure out what we can expect from ETH. The biggest concern for me right now in the markets, especially in four hours, is volume. We're really, really lacking volume in ETH and BTC. If we don't get volume, we know what comes next with the volume. We are gonna probably come and test 2,600 again. Ideally, we are also making a very good, good cup and handle here. We would wanna have a breakout from this and probably reach targets of 3,000 or even above and test our resistance at 3,600. For now, it's pretty sideways. It is pumping, but it doesn't have much volume, which is a concern right now for me we can expect it to consolidate come back to the areas of somewhere here or we can also expect something a massive volume coming in and taking us above this zone so we have to be very very cautious when we come to in these zones like i always say play to level to level market we don't want to predict that it's going to be four thousand dollars tomorrow or forty thousand dollars in the next three months we don't work like this on this channel we like to trade level to level because that is the safest way to go about in the markets like we were here we decided we're going to get into this range and we did we got very very close to it got resistance and then got rejected from there now we are building support and heading towards another retest of three thousand dollars which is going to be an interesting sign but we need a huge tower like that in the volume for us to ideally break into big big higher time frames even if we get into btc similar situation right now we don't have volume if you saw the each chart there was still a lot more volume in each chart more green bars than we have here there's more red bars here which is a massive concern for me right now at least and overall the shape everything looks okay we are in a good price structure we do know every time we touch our danger zone we do dump hard and we don't want to see that coming anytime soon so we would ideally want to build some kind of support bring some nice volume which can bring us on an upside and probably we can then enter in our zone of 44 and 45 thousand dollars which we are not being able to test for some time now we got rejected here as well so hopefully if we do build that kind of support and momentum then we can head to test our forty-five thousand dollars. we have to do that otherwise we know that we are still in a sideways market and all this pump was just like another regular pump that we had been seeing in the markets as well now we look at ar one of the players we had been chasing for the last week it's been pretty sideways we did see a very good upside to 36 dollars and now we are having a retest of our four hour uptrend and we've been seeing continuous retest happening in AR. we had here as well and here as well well obviously the protocol is so good it's one of the best cloud storage performance out there so we can expect some good moves to be coming here as well we shouldn't panic much whatever happens with ar right now we just have to make sure that we take these trades very very well then our next player and next winner had to be avax avax had a very good upside broke our resistance went up like i imagined and drew a line here and we are now facing some kind of resistance coming at 92.50 we can expect that to be broken right now we're in golden pocket 0.5 regions in fib channel so we can expect if we do have a breakout to easily get into 100 dollars range and even 113 dollars that would be an ideal place for us to have so if you do want to take this trade you have to be very cautious wait for this to have a breakout and watch the macd as well once we see a convergence in macd and breakout from this 92 resistance then we can expect some kind of big move to be coming right now we know there's not much volume though this is looking a lot better than what we saw in ETH and BTC so that is some kind of a, a relaxing sign for us and you can feel a bit better that at least there's some volume in AVAX now if you look at Luna Luna also looks very very similar no volume massive volume lag going on right now in Luna but it's good to see that it's pretty sideways it did test its resistance at $95 and then it faced rejection and now it's just been consolidating in this zone. My concern right now on four hours is making an inverse hammer. Usually they are very, very bearish signs. So I just hope we don't come back down into the ranges of $89. If we do, then this will be another very good area for us to lock in some positions here. And if let's say something bad really happens right now in Luna's situation, then obviously we're gonna come back to our support levels of 78 because we've only converted it once that nearly about 80 dollars we took a support and then we had another upside coming so we have to be cautious here within this range of about 95 dollars to about 78 dollars just have to be very very careful if it does come down here good if it doesn't then obviously we already have a channel going upwards which also has an x at all time high so we are basically probably 
going to break this all time high that we have at 104 dollars right now and then if you look at all the other coins looking pretty good a lot of action happening about one percent two percent in almost everything right now even now if you jump into rune to rune has had a very good upside very good uptrend right now but we're starting to get very consolidated we have been pretty sideways in this region as well from 9.5 we made a nice stop and now we've just been pretty sideways we have a massive resistance coming at ten dollar forty cents right now if we look at the volume here massive concern volume if you look at it it's, it's just been in continuous decline here we haven't had any action coming into the volume channels so ideally we really really want some good volume to be coming in and usually usually if we do have massive moves coming up they do decrease the volume to make retail feel like oh no the market is going to go down and then suddenly the volume will come and pump upside we saw a similar situation happening on the weekend as well so we have to be very very cautious with all these coins right now so even this week we'll try to play around rune we're going to play around luna we're going to play around abax and ea i'm still considering to enter earn or inch token in those but i will reconfirm that with you guys tomorrow because today we need to really see how the u.s markets react how other things react in the market for us to be pretty certain that the markets is going to have a very good upside as well right now and we can have assurance with the u.s market open that we aren't dumping this week so we look at commodities quickly as well we can see commodities just pump happening right now in the markets overall oil has started to pump because of the part of the war like they said they haven't had any solution coming up right now significantly anything can happen in that war as well so we have to be very very cautious about that and be wary of these markets like i always say so that's all for today's video guys i hope you liked today's video if you do smash the like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel that's what keeps you motivated and take care guys see you tomorrow